Am I the a-hole for believing my girlfriend over my daughter? You know what they say, uh, I don't know. What did they say? I can't say it. Say it. No, I won't. Okay. Something before blood. I want you guys figure that out. But uh, this is to answer the question, should the parent-child relationship be placed above all else? This is a great question. And this is going to come from girlfriend, daughter, throwaway, and a whole wedding dad who says, I, 51 male, have been dating my girlfriend, Millie, for just over six months. <laughs> There better not be a Bobby Brown at the end of that name. My wife died. <laughs> my wife passed away four years ago, and this is my longest relationship since. However, my daughter, Bianca, 21 female, disapproves. She has had a lot of issues with me and Millie, hopefully not an age gap, but the main ones are the way that we met through a website and that I moved Millie into our house fairly quickly after three months. Quick rebuttal, Sophia. I think it is not too soon after the parent passed away. I think that is an acceptable amount of right, time. I do think it is too soon to move in relationship-wise, though. I think I would agree. In my defense, losing my wife much earlier than I had ever imagined really taught me to seize and enjoy each moment. And it just felt right to both of us to have Millie there with me permanently. Two months ago, Bianca and Millie got into a dispute over our spare room, which Bianca uses as a music space, but Millie wanted to convert into a shooting space for social media, which is her job. She had like a shooting range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like blowing out the walls. And She's I mean, like, the, we don't do music here. I took Millie's side, my girlfriend, then she's going to be here longer term. So Bianca sped up her plans to move out to the next week and asked that I warn her if Millie is going to be present at any event or visit. Ooh. Honestly, think about it the other way. If Bianca was going to be moving out, like if she was moving out the next week, she'd be moving out pretty soon. Just give it to her for a bit, and then, then yeah. Millie can have it for forever, maybe. That's so true. Right? That's so true. Yeah. Come on now. Last week, I thought it would be nice to treat Millie for her birthday, and she asked for a shopping trip and a dinner out, which I was happy to do. The issue is she specifically asked to go to a restaurant where Bianca works as a waitress. Since it's known as one of the most exclusive and classy places in town, what a... Oh my God, that's crazy. I knew Bianca was working that day, but figured it would be all right since it's a large restaurant and a special occasion. This is for Millie's birthday. Yeah, Millie's so birthday. So Millie, the girlfriend... Yes. Is go, it wants to eat at the the restaurant Bianca works at, Ooh. and Bianca explicitly, explicitly said, "Explicitly said, let me, let me know, know if if I'm coming over and like yeah. Bianca's around. Let me know." She yeah. explicitly what? communicated that. Presumably, Millie knows that Bianca works uh, there. Almost certainly. Almost certainly. Diana says Millie is messy, and Trisha says Millie is a snake. Millie is a snake. Honestly. Yeah. That's I'm, super. And also, just the fact that the dad, after as you said, after Bianca said explicitly, "Let me know." Yeah. And to bring her to. Bianca's restaurant and not let her know. Uh -oh. Love Bubble says Millie is trying to get her fired. Dude, Ooh. if that happens, that will be the biggest ICU of all time. When we arrived, we were given another server, so I thought everything was okay. About 15 minutes later, Bianca walked out from the kitchen and immediately saw us sitting there, then walked straight back without even saying hi. She kept passing the table and silently glaring daggers at Millie, which was just unnecessary when Millie tried to be polite. Millie then asked Bianca for the bill because she was the nearest waitress. And Bianca slapped it down the table wordlessly, then sent another waitress to see us out. That so was messy. I'm sorry, but that was intentionally petty. That you could was. Just, just wait. Five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. There's no way that there weren't other waitresses around. She purposely waited until Bianca walked by. Later, I called her and asked why she had behaved like a child. Ugh, this Dude. really grinds my gears. Why did you behave like a child and not even communicate to your daughter yeah. that you'd be at the restaurant when she communicated with you? Yeah. Bianca said that me and Millie had been deliberately flirting to upset her, which is untrue. The most that happened was a couple of kisses and a bit of footsie and giggling. Bianca also claims that when I briefly left to use the toilet, Millie called her over and told her not to contact me for the next few days as we would be too busy engaging in private activities. There is literally nothing. It's that, that it's clear. There is no, like, misinterpretation or anything. From Wait, that. I'm sorry. Millie went to Bianca and told her about their private activities? So, literally, when o OP, her father, goes yeah. to the bathroom, right? Yeah. Millie takes the opportunity, pulls Bianca over, and is like, don't contact him for the next few days because we're going to be having some adults' activities together. Oh, that's so icky. That is, <coughs> bless you.
Um, it's so icky, it makes me sneeze. That's right. She's allergic to I'm you, allergic. Millie. So, Bianca said, I find it hard to believe Bianca. OP! Because Millie has made an effort to bond with her through organizing girly activities, among other things, while Bianca has a history of manipulating others to get her way. Bianca then told me that she wants to go no contact with Millie or me apart from at family gatherings. My family is split over this issue, and my ex-wife's sister called to cuss me out for neglecting Bianca, who is still grieving her mother. Am I the a-hole? I understand that Bianca and Millie have their issues, and Bianca misses her mother, but Bianca was at work, and I think she should have been more professional. Wow. We have a follow-up with Opie's daughter responding. Wow. As an update. Oh, boy. I love Th- these. This is... Oh, these are... She's about to read him. Literally the best. Um, But let's take a, a, a super quick stop here. I mean, Pit yeah. Stop. This is your daughter, dude. Yeah. I totally understand. We, we have had stories before where the parent is, like, trying to, like, move on. And, like, years yeah. later, and the kids are like, no, don't date anyone. How could you do this to yeah. mom? And it's like, ultimately, that was their, like, life partner that they lost, and... You know, they should be able to have a relationship and find a life partner and move on eventually. But this is crazy. This is crazy. It doesn't even seem like Bianca's doing that of like, oh, you can't date anyone, blah, blah, blah. Not at all. It seems like she just has a really fraught relationship with Millie because of Millie's behavior. Yeah, it's it's I think it's really Millie's behavior. And maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll take OP at his word and say that maybe Bianca has had a history of like manipulating situations yeah. to get her way or whatever, which may, hey, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. But here's a question. Why is your first thought not, Oh, I need to sit down with Millie and ask her this and confront her with this yeah. and not tell that to your daughter. Like yeah, be like, did you say this to my daughter? I, I just want to like, you know, yeah. Like conversation. Yeah. I, I, I think his first thing is to just jump to conclusion. Like, oh, she's, Bianca's lying and she's like manipulating yeah. and like well, he's not even, yeah not even fact checking you don't even try, nothing. yeah you don't even try to ask her like that yeah. doesn't make any sense to me the immediate assumption shows that he really cares more for Millie than his daughter yes and Denise asks how old are they so OP is 51 year old male uh his daughter's 21 female I don't actually know that we know Millie's age we do don't, we don't but yeah. i am wondering if she's younger i think she with the wondering high irony close to 21 dude dude this is truly just a uh, uh speculation but I th- but guys you know what the best way to know is by reading the next part uh, opie's daughter posts the following hey everyone this is bianca talking after i saw the twitter thread made with my dad's post and my roommate encouraged me to make an account to at least try to defend myself I hope at least some of you hear me out and thank you to the very kind Twitter peeps who are looking out for me. Appreciate you guys. And I am fine. What my dad says has grains of truth, but it is so far from the full story and is basically BS. Liz Wentworth says, I bet Millie is 10 years older than Bianca. That's kind of where I was thinking. I was yeah. thinking like maybe five to 10. Yeah. And that's why there is kind of that mean girl energy, which I, th- I think that mean girl energy can still happen with a person who is in their 50s and a person who's younger. Totally. My mom passed away when I was 17 and me and my dad were actually very close. He started dating again a couple of years after she died, which is fine, I think. And I was always very supportive until Millie came along. Regardless of what dad says, me and Millie had an emotional relationship lasting several months, which ended in a massive bust up and us losing contact. And he was aware of this when I told him I recognized <gasps> oh, her. Oh, wait, someone said that. Someone said, I, I wonder if Millie and um, OP were friends before. Whoever said that, you're so smart. Oh, oh. my God. Whoever said that, comment again because yeah, we need to shout again. you the freak shout out. You because out. That was, that's an that Hall was of a, Fame yeah. ICU right there. Hall of Fame ICU. Oh, my gosh. Wow, wow, whoopsie. Wow. Yeah, and he was aware of this when I told him I recognized her. So he, I mean, yeah, he he told her, sorry, she told him immediately. Mm. Like, yo, this is who this is. We, we had a falling out. He brushed mm. it aside and told me I would get used to it. And we would be introduced gradually. The way that um, Bianca is phrasing it sounds a little bit unclear. When she said emotional relationship, do you think that means just friendship or <gasps> relationship? Oh, my God. I wasn't even thinking about a relationship. Just because c- of the wording. It could be either. I, I, I think it is like a emotional friendship. Yeah. 
But Sophia, you you might be right. Yeah. Also, Brittany Jones was the one who called it. Shout out you, Brittany Jones. Brittany Jones in the chat. Yeah, high fives to Brittany Jones. Let's freaking go. Yeah. Oh. And if it is the case, which it might not be, yes, that Bianca and Millie were in a relationship. I think honestly, it could go, even yes. if she was just a friend, I, and they had so a far, friend breakup. Do you believe OP uh, when she said that Millie came and like asked for the or or said like you and you don't contact your dad for a few days? We're gonna have spicy sleep. I believe her. I believe her. As yeah, of right I now. believe her. Yeah, I believe her. It, it, who knows? But I believe her as of right now. I was stupid and I believed his crap about them. Yeah. You know, gradually getting used to each other. He moved her into the house without oh, asking me. That's even worse. While I was visiting my mom's family for the week. <laughs> Gross. She did not try to bond with me. She used our shopping days and trips as an excuse to get money off of dad for herself. He cried and begged dad until he got rid of my music room and he fell for it. I asked them not to be intimate when I was around because I was uncomfortable. They ignored me. Oh my God. Wow, wow, wow. Whoopsie. Millie and dad have since tried to contact me regularly and have shown up in unexpected places. They showed up at my church. They have apparently visited my work and asked friends if I am there. They have even tried to messaging me to ask when I'm visiting mom's grave. They are despicable people who would deserve to be cut off. I would love to hear dad's explanation of why I'm manipulative. Until then, thank you so much to everyone looking out for me again. And just don't believe any of the crap in this thread other than the crap about liking young women. That's probably true. Ooh. We still don't know her age, but she is the fact that she's Opie's friend means she's like way yeah. younger. Yeah. Way younger. There's, really young. There's unless she unless Opie is friend like Bianca's friends with old women or which, older women. I mean it's possible. It's like, possible. I have older friends. I have older friends, yeah. I have Actually, a friend that's 40. I actually but, don't have a lot of... I don't think I have any... I think you and Sam are my oldest friends. Ageist. I'm sorry. Ageism. Wow. I'm sorry. I just got out of college. No one was, Con- Congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Sophia, for being ageist. Unless you got my new improv friends. I think that counts. Okay, okay. They new, range. I'm the youngest new, in my improv class. New Everyone budding friendships. Like, yeah. Late 20s to early like 50s. There you go. I, I, I'd say that counts. OP is voted you're the a-hole. I believe this might be the original OP. The original voted, OP, yeah. so the dad. We're thinking the dad is voted the a-hole. He posted the same text on r slash uh, relationship advice minus the paragraph asking if he was the a-hole. And they clowned just as hard since the posts are pretty much identical. I won't include the latter post. So, yeah, it seems like everyone is voting, voting dad the a-hole. Yeah. Diana says uh, she lost her mom and now her dad, too. This is traffic. And she said she said she had a close relationship. Yeah, to you her know? dad before? Yeah, she said that she Ooh. did. She actually did have a close relationship following the passing of the mom. Because, like, I mean, they're they're both going through this grieving process together. It, it, it does make sense, honestly. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, but isn't Millie an influencer? I bet I bet that's how <gasps> Bianca met her. That, dude, I literally forgot about that. She's like, she's like an influencer. Ooh. Dude, she is playing this dad. She's playing this dad. And honestly, I think you kind of said this earlier but i i think she could be fully getting back at bianca yeah and also just using the dad and just siphoning yeah probably his resources money. we are going to read freaking more and this next part is am i the a-hole for bringing my fiance to my daughter's wedding Ooh. that's the title of this update i'm just gonna Ooh. read through this for context okay, to, to, uh, for clarity yes. i believe this is the original op again Yes, and we're back to the the dad, yes. the original yes. OP. Yeah. Um, editor slash compiler's note, for some reason, OP gave everyone initials instead of names in this. For the sake of readability, I've given the previously named yeah. individuals their names back and given the daughter's wife the name Ifru after a character of Star Wars. Is that it? If the daughter is gay, then Bianca and Millie might have had a relationship. I might have been so right. Ah. I am terrified. Ah. Also, you... E- Ifru, is that am I? I, I have not seen Star Wars. I, fifty-two male, have a daughter, Bianca, twenty-three female, who got married last week to her wife, Ifru, twenty-four female. They had been dating just under a year and decided to have an intimate wedding with me and about twenty other guests. So the dad was invited. That is an mm. important thing to note. Bianca mm. does not get along with my now fiance, girlfriend to fiance. <laughs> Millie, 29 female. Bianca has no contact at all with Millie. Refuses to come to our house and has been quite low contact with me for, for the last year or so because of an argument she had with Millie. 
as expected, Bianca did not invite Millie to the wedding, but invited me as a guest. Totally fair. Um, Especially if they dated. Dude. Why would you invite oh, your ex to your wedding? Your ex and your dad's oh, evil fiance. Oh, oh, my God. Your evil. Bro, your ex becomes your evil stepmom. I think this is true because, because they said relationship. I think they were dating. They said emotional relationship. I think that I think at least romantic. You could something. be right. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. like an entanglement. You know, yeah, friends yeah. with benefits. Some, yeah. Something. They something were... happened that was romantic. Oh my goodness gracious! Millie said that she would not mind if I went without her, which I thought was very gracious in the face of rudeness. However, we recently found out that Millie is a few weeks pregnant with our first child. Ah! Oh, and she has been anxious at having panic attacks all the way through her pregnancy. The morning of the wedding, I found Millie crying on the sofa and literally shaking. I asked what was wrong, and she said she felt very panicky and unsafe alone. I offered to stay home since she was so ill, and I was worried about her, but she insisted that I go to the wedding. I was too concerned to go without her, so I messaged Ifru, informed her of the situation, and that Millie would be coming with me in case she had a medical emergency while I was away. Dude. Ifru did not respond until we were already dressed and halfway to the venue. Ifu told us that Millie was not to set foot at the wedding, but at that point, I had no other option, and I wanted to be there for Bianca. It did not go well. Bianca did not speak to me the whole way through the wedding and kept giving ugly looks to Millie. At the reception, there was obviously wasn't a place set for Millie, and an extra chair had to be squeezed in. I cut some food off of my plate and fed her off my own plate, so I didn't think it was a big deal. You were ex- explicitly told not Dude, to bring that's the issue Millie. Ifru came to me after dinner said that bianca was not doing a yeah. father-daughter dance with me and gave me a list of complaints she said she was disgusted by millie's dress because it was red i don't know what website this is it says don't wear red to a wedding just don't okay there's more to it but really don't uh, chat saying ah, that too now red is inappropriate for similar reason but instead of competing you were trying to outshine her red is a bright no i thought it was about like there was like something about meeting, cheating yeah, like, or whatever oh uh, red where, means you oh, slept with the groom yeah yeah sleazy toves coming in clutch red yeah, means so you sl- red means she slept with the bride and if there was a relationship beforehand that is messy. oh my god so she was disgusted by Millie's dress because it was red. Opie put like a bunch of question marks, like doesn't understand. And that Millie was wrong to introduce herself as stepmother <gasps> to Bianca. Oh. And that Millie should not have mentioned her pregnancy at all. Oh. Millie only mentioned her pregnancy because she was offered a little cake and cake makes her sick because of the pregnancy hormones. You know what you could say? Sorry, I don't want cake. No, thanks. I'm good. OP, get it through your fat freaking <laughs> noggin. There are other options! Ifru told us to leave after dinner, and I agreed, so I did not upset Bianca. Finally. However, when Millie stood up, her stomach cramped, and she fell over. You liar! You liar! It only made a tiny scene, but I rushed her out, and we sat in another room for 20 minutes until she felt better. Ifru's mother came in at that point while I was calming Millie down and made us get out. Since then, Ifru and Millie's maternal family have been sending me angry messages about how quote unquote rude we were. And Ifru has told me they want no contact for the foreseeable future. I really meant well, and I just wanted to make everyone happy. But am I the (laughs) a-hole? Oh, obviously the a-hole. I'm sorry. I'm (sighs) sorry. I'm sorry. Millie wasn't invited. No. Knew she didn't feel well, quote unquote. Yes. Came anyway. What? Yeah, yeah. That's a great point. Why would Millie want to go into the wedding venue? Yeah. If, if she's you not... didn't feel well, why would you go? If I was having panic attacks and stressing, like, I would not want to be... the last place I would go? Literally, I would maybe... You know what? I would want, like, a good friend to come over with, like, takeout and, like, watch some movies and hang out. Like, that's that's what I would have probably suggested yeah. in, in OP, the, da- the dad's position. No, I don't trust Millie at all. Oh, my gosh. The, the dad is so dumb. I don't even think you he's think dumb. He, I think he's just like, uh, I don't know. I guess he's dumb maybe, and awful. Maybe, maybe he doesn't care. Yeah, I feel like it's that. There's like, like being dumb, places, yeah. you don't care if you hurt someone, and then intentionally hurting someone. And like he's he's in the like in the realm between is dumb and doesn't care. And I feel like Millie is absolutely in the realm of yeah. trying to intentionally. This feels like he's dumb and also doesn't care about his daughter at all. You thought that that... The dad 
couldn't couldn't, couldn't keep dig a, going. Couldn't dig a deeper hole. <laughs> he couldn't possibly. He's already he thought he dug, hit bedrock. He's already dug his grave six feet deep. But he's in creative mode. He but, can get rid of bedrock. But bro is not a quitter. Someone found a post that appears to be the same person. So I, 53 male, buried my long-term fiance, now wife, Millie, last week. We have a child together, nine months, female, who I will call Penny, and I have an older daughter with my ex-wife, who I will call Bianca. Sophia. Yeah. He didn't say late wife. He said my ex-wife. That is a very, very important detail. Very suspicious. Millie and Bianca do not see eye to eye, and Bianca has been very low contact with me for the last few years as a result of disagreements between the two. They have stemmed from Millie moving into my house and taking over a, a room that Bianca used as a music studio and Millie taking ill at Bianca's wedding, which Bianca perceived as Millie trying to steal the spotlight. Perceived. Act the wedding she wasn't invited to. Explicitly she told her to She wasn't invited. Come. She wasn't invited. Oh, you... Oh. So uh, Bianca has only met her little sister two or three times and always insists on meeting her outside my house with my wife not present. After my ex-wife passed away, not late wife, I kept her wedding ring, engagement ring, and other bits of jewelry. Put an icing in the comments. I'm very afraid of what might happen. Bianca immediately inherited some of the jewelry, and I kept others, most important bits back, including the wedding and engagement rings, without telling Bianca. When Millie was pregnant with Penny, I revealed to Bianca that I had her mother's engagement ring. No. And offered it to her if she would come to the baby shower and participate no. in our family. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Okay, so, I thought he was going to give it to Millie. Same, but, same. But, but he's, bribing he, with, he's, yeah. he's bribing her with He's He's bribing her with it, which is, I will say, at least not as yeah. horrid as giving it to... Uh, One step above, but we're still in the basement. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, one step above. We, we went from the basement to like yeah. there's stairs to upstairs. Yeah. We went on one step. <laughs> That's where we're standing basement. right now. This story is giving me a terminal illness right now. Um, <laughs> I revealed to Bianca I had her mother's engagement ring and offered it to her if she would come to the baby shower and she and she participate in our family. She turned me down, refused to come to the shower, and has never expressed any interest in her mother's other jewelry since because she knows it's a bribe. I had not directly told Bianca I had her mother's wedding ring, but she also never asked. So I decided that since Bianca had decided to turn down the promise of the engagement ring, he wouldn't be too fussed about the other jewelry. My ex-wife, the deceased wife's wedding ring, was very beautiful with a very distinctive stone, and I like the symbolism of my former and future wives being connected. So I asked Millie, whether she would oh, like to use the no. And what do we think Millie's going to say, ladies and gentlemen? No. She was absolutely delighted as she loves the ring oh. and agreed. Oh. So I invited Bianca to my wedding and she eventually agreed with the promise of not being in any family photos and not having to attend the reception. I thought this was a good compromise. That would allow us to rebuild the relationship slowly. There was an argument when Millie refused to invite Bianca's wife as the wedding is in a Catholic church. Maybe Millie never was in a romantic relationship it with. It could have been like a pining thing where Millie might have even let her on or something. Yeah, or 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 maybe maybe Millie it's it's a like self-hate yeah. homophobia also where it's could like, be that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things she could still be queer and then just be like, "Oh, well, it's in a Catholic church, so you can't come." And just using that as an excuse. Right. Yeah. But I calmed Bianca down. Millie was absolutely delighted that Bianca agreed to come as she really wanted to start to build Fire. bridges and reconcile. No, she wanted to be close to her so she can, so she can stab her in the back. Stab again. her in the back. Bianca attended the wedding and it all went well until it came to the exchange of the rings. As the rings were presented, Bianca must have recognized and simply stood up and walked out of the church. You, you didn't tell her. You didn't tell her. Oh, my God. Oh, she didn't ask. Are you kidding me, bro? We did not realize she had left until after the ceremony, and Millie was absolutely beside herself. It completely ruined the ceremony. She was wasted and cried the entire night. She became extremely depressed and does nothing but lie on the sofa. What did you... What did <laughs> she you, sucks. How would you think 
that Bianca would react when she doesn't know that the ring was going to be given to you and sees the ring being given to you. Yeah. How how do you think she would react? Yeah, the fact that Millie's like, I don't know, making everything about herself and making her... Like, she is... In this scenario, she is, like, the focus of the wedding. But to, like, make Bianca's feelings about herself... To let that ruin the wedding night with what is supposed to be your partner for life. Yeah. Of that one thing. Obviously, I understand, like, if someone walked out for an actually legitimate reason, yes, that is very... That would make one distraught, for sure. Well, but the thing is that it feels like Millie is trying to make bianca look like the bad guy like yes. she's playing up all of these emotions yeah. like oh you know this is bianca's fault look at what bianca did to millie on her wedding day a thousand percent a thousand percent uh, i tried to contact bianca that night and managed to get through to her wife she called millie a b-word and a manipulator who stole bianca's heirloom <laughs> o- op says the dad says that is not true I have since been blocked by Bianca and her wife, and this has completely ruined the memory of our special day. I do plan to check on Bianca's well-being at some point. In the meantime, was I wrong? Of course, you're freaking wrong. (laughs) Josephine said she's literally a Disney villain. (gasps) Like, a Disney villain doing, like, adult villain. Like, if if, if it was rated R. If those those Disney films were rated R. Give it to Bianca. Like, how meaningful. She had had to grieve the loss of her mother at, at pretty young. I'm yeah. sorry, but 21 is still pretty young to lose your to lose your mom. Oh, absolutely. And like <laughs> that is a, a big process, and what a full circle moment to commemorate her passing than to have her daughter give the ring to the love of her life. Yeah, you know what well. I mean. That that would have been beautiful. And for him to say, "Oh, well, she said she didn't want it. No, she didn't want the strings attached with it." Yes, yes, she didn't. She didn't want you to have any more control over her and be able to use it as leverage she she made it very into i bet you she probably really wanted that ring yeah but she she was like i do not want exactly what you said the the emotional strings attached oh oh i'm sorry the daughter was only 17 when her mom passed thank you hannah thank you hannah, hannah. yeah 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 she's 21 she's 20 yeah. uh, she, oh, no, she, she was, was 21 yeah she's like 24 story. now yeah so. she's 23 24 oh my god dude Oh, yeah, you are so like and honestly, the dad went from being we were like, okay, he's just like stupid and doesn't know what he's doing. He's an idiot to you don't care. You're not being intentional or whatever. But now I think he's intentionally trying to hurt her and being sneaky about it. The next level above. Yes. So he's like, he's like, oh, I tried to give her the ring. I wanted her to have it. You know, I offered it to her if she would come to the bridal party and just, you know, be a part of the family. It's like, no, you were you you were using that as a manipulation tactic. You're the manipulator. Yeah. Bianca did zero manipulating. Yeah. No, I was just gonna say, and also Sam likes to say, like, how do people write out this entire thing and then still think they're in the right? Yes. This is very true for this guy. Insane. Write all this out. And, and bro has had multiple updates. He has Multiple updates. He has seen the responses yeah. of people. Yeah. And he still persists. And oh, but Millie, I will say Millie is definitely the, the evil empress. OP is the, I feel like he's the real villain of the story mm. because he's tied to be like to Bianca. Millie is so obviously the villain. Yes. Like, yeah. She's like the a-hole. We know it. But the dad, mm. because he has that relationship yeah Bianca, it hurts so much more yeah he's support like this is your father who should be consoling you and helping yeah. you through this grieving process which is probably i mean lifelong for sure and you know your your child had to go through the loss of their mother at 17 years old yeah very hard thing to do mm-hmm. very challenging bianca didn't she said she didn't have a problem with him dating yeah. it was literally only when said, millie came in the picture and also she said you can date millie just like she did not want him to date her initially. No, Millie yes, initially, yes. But, then, but like then she was like, okay. She did ultimately agree. Yeah. Yes. Wow, what a story. Great, great story find, Sophia. Thanks. There we have it. That concludes this story. But this shit ain't over. Am I the hole for rejecting my daughter's gift because she hid her mother's affair? This is about to get complicated. Um, and this is answering, should the parent-child relationship be placed above everything else? Let's, let's make sure to answer that at the end of this episode. <laughs> this comes from Far Appearances who says... My ex-wife, 40 female, and I, 41 male, have been divorced for a year now because she had an affair. A good reason to get divorced. <laughs> uh, she herself confessed to her affair a year later and moved in with her affair partner. 
Oof. She herself confessed to her affair a year later and moved in with her affair partner, uh, who she's now married to. I was pretty distraught with the whole thing. We also have a daughter, 17 female. My daughter knew about the affair, but she told me she hid it from me because she didn't want to break up the family. It really hurt me that she hid it from me for so long, but I moved on. My daughter still apologizes for it, but I told her that it is all right. My daughter gave me a Father's Day gift, which was a handwritten letter and a gift. Okay. That's cute. That's cute. That is cute. However, I was in no mood for a gift, so I told her to keep it for herself. Okay, buddy. Okay. My daughter seemed a bit shocked, and she went to her room, and I think she was crying when she went to her room. Was I the a-hole? Sophia, do you want to sing the answer in har- harmony with me? Oh. Oh, yes. yes. Nice. Beautiful. That was, that was giving, um, like, church hymn. So now getting into some relevant comments. Milk154 says, yes, in my opinion, that you're the a-hole. You say you told her it's all right. You say you moved on. How do your actions live up to your words? Great question. At least be honest with yourself and then to her. Either move on or don't, but don't say everything's all right and then not accept a gift from your daughter. Plus, maybe factor in she's a kid and in a tough spot between her parents when you make some of these evaluations thousand percent gone to flim flon says very few adults would have the courage to speak up in this scenario never mind a kid who probably didn't want to hurt her dad she needs your grace and you need to show her how a person can move forward when life is difficult you're the a-hole honestly commenters spitting facts today facts. hot mess forever says yes sorry for what happened to you but you're the a-hole can you imagine the position she was in a child your child she was afraid her home would break. Her nightmares come true. And you did this? You told her it's okay, and then you crapped on her as if it was her fault. Shame on you. I get this is still raw for you, but what about her? Judgment, you are the a-hole. I can understand OP being maybe, I don't know if frustrated or upset is the right word, like not feeling good about the fact that she hit it because that, you know, prevented you from ending the relationship earlier yeah but you need to give her grace because she's your child she was scared she didn't she didn't want to lose her parents yeah you know what i mean and i think i i I think she was just scared and you know she's she's 17 years old this is a very complex emotional thing to navigate for a 17 year old absolutely and like you just need to give her some grace and the fact that you didn't accept her father's day gift of of a of a, a a handwritten note is adorable beautiful yeah. beautiful that was not okay i think you could sit her down and be like it would have been nice to to know earlier and hear from you but i yeah. understand why you did it yeah i think that he's being a little bit harsh on i think what you were saying i might have misheard you him reacting pretty harshly to a 17 year old yeah a teenager who is having to pick and choose between parents who are kind of putting her in the middle and i feel like he is continuing this pattern of putting her in the middle yeah of a situation that doesn't really involve her ladies and gentlemen we have an update one day later so just wanted to uh provide a quick update uh i did feel guilty after rejecting my daughter's gift yesterday and after reading a few comments it was confirmed that i was the a-hole i went to her room yesterday and apologized for everything it really hurt me that i made her cry that much i told her that i didn't mean it and we had a chat i got the gift in the letter and it was really sweet and heartfelt and i thanked her oh gonna bring me to tears I felt really touched after reading it, and I will preserve it forever. There we go. For the rest of the day, I took her out on a shopping trip. And then in the evening, we went to the theaters to watch a movie. She seemed very happy. At night, we had one more serious chat where I told her it wasn't her fault at all. She says she still feels very guilty about hiding the whole affair from me because even though she hated her mom for the affair, she was worried about exposing the affair because of how the family would fall apart. I I totally see where the daughter's coming from. And her con, yeah. her conflicted nature. Like I, I would, I would immediately forgive her. I told her that she shouldn't feel guilty about anything, and that's not her fault at all, and it's only her mom's fault. We then talked a bit about her mom, and she agreed that if there's one thing she's learned from the entire thing, it's not to emulate her mom when she is an adult. I agreed, and also told her that it was an unfortunate that she got such a mom. I told her we both need to go to individual therapy to deal with the divorce. Great, and her mom's selfish actions. And my daughter was open to it. So we are going to start looking for a therapist soon. Bad mouthing the cheating ex. Mm, mm -hmm. Right? Now, the daughter is 17. She is, you know, in the cusp of adulthood. 
<laughs> and the fact that she, like she knows that she cheated and things like that, I, I I think that she's definitely old enough to at least know the straightforward truth. Yes. Of what happened, but how? Yeah. How do you feel about? I think he said yeah, uh, it's unfortunate that you got a mom like the one you have. How, how do you how do you feel about that? Sophia? Um, Talk to me. I think it is always a little bit risky to put down another parent in front of a child, especially one who's seventeen. That is still young. I think in this scenario, there are ways where he can still kind of validate her feelings and emotions without necessarily walking down. And John can't respond to that because he's helping Sam. Elias Magic says, I was the daughter when I was 16, 17. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't pretend the cheating parent is good and be honest with it. I think, yeah, that's, that's true. I think honesty is just especially because the daughter did bring it up it's not like op was like your mom sucks and you should hate her it was the daughter bringing up her emotions and feelings so i think that yeah yeah <laughs> i think there's a way um to tell the daughter to talk to validate the daughter's feelings without talking yes a hundred a hundred percent agree yeah. yeah i i think yeah, yeah. I, I think you can yeah without validate sugar her feelings. coating as slightly tove says i think that i think she's 17 year, years old i think she's old enough to know the detail like not maybe not the details but yeah you know no, the, the straightforward details yes. of she cheated yeah um you know that was wrong that's why i'm you know leaving the relationship yes. i don't think that that's a i don't think that's that's i don't think that's talking bad about her i think yes. i think this is what happened totally you already know some of this because you were involved in keeping it here so agreed. you already know agreed uh and you're valid in feeling whatever you want to feel i'm not going to force a relationship with you and your mom if you want it i'm not going to be against it uh, but yeah, just like validating. I think that's where I'm at. So. I agree. <laughs> Sam's here and in a I'm new here. chair. New chair. Who dis? Ooh. I'm going to have to Ooh. zoom in. We have literally so much to catch you up on. It's crazy. This has been a wild episode. Yeah. Um, of stories. Um, so three days later. Wow. So we have an update. We heard from the dad. We heard from the daughter. Okay. We are now hearing from. The evil stepmom, the, the the woman who married the dad. Oh, my God. And this... It's about to blow your mind. Oh, my God. I'm about to get my socks blown off. In another comment, he discloses that Millie is bi, and at one point, she and Bianca were in a relationship. Which is what I said. Dude. Which is Dude. what I said. Do you think that OP's friend, ex-lover... Is doing all yes. of this to That's get what revenge. I said. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Is doing yes. it for revenge. Is siphoning him of his money. Is doing it to torture. Yes. To the My. degree of marrying and having a child with this guy. I mean, this is like top tier evil. Low key commitment to the bit though. Bro. <laughs> Ultimate commitment to the bit. <laughs> My God. Who knows if the relationship had ended even before Millie hooked up with the dad and yeah. got pregnant. So they oh, might have so overlapped. Oh, so they've been cheating. Maybe, the maybe. Dad might have. Yeah. The commenter the said, dad, "Who knows?" Did the dad know that they were dating or no? no not. A, I don't believe until his daughter until, Bianca said he started dating her. Yes. And then Bianca, his Pointed daughter, was like, "Hey, I know this girl." Yes. And I think also someone in the chat, and I, I didn't see this comment, but someone in the chat said the dad didn't recognize their Bianca and Millie's relationship as like real. But they, he still knew they were friends. No, no. Eventually. Until, until, not until Bianca told him yeah, when not he started until, dating. So he did, he was dating her to some degree. And then once they finally met in person, he, she, his, Bianca was like, yo, this is her. I know her. This is my ex friend, ex lover, oh ex something. God. All right. Let's get into this. Okay. Really update. Let's do it. So hi all. This one's been upsetting me for weeks. I have just gotten engaged to my partner, Sean, 51 male. Ooh, is that his real name? Um, who I love very, very much. And I've been living with for the past few months. I'm working uh, on planning our wedding next summer. He has a daughter, Bianca, 21 female, my future stepdaughter. Um, which, by the way, when Bianca's 21, Millie, the person writing this post, is 29. So she's eight years younger, older, uh, older. than the daughter. But the dad is 51. So they're like, what? Which is it's a, it's a, it's a 20, large age, age gap. Large 21, large 22 year age, age gap. gap. Okay. Yes. He has one daughter, Bianca, 21 female, my future stepdaughter, with his wife who passed away four years ago and who absolutely hates me and has from the start because I met him online and she is pretty conservative in my opinion. Shut up. Oh, my God. So we're getting this is a double. This is a double feature. We're getting the other side now. We're getting, no, this is a triple feature, Sam. We got the we got dad, three sides. Bianca, 
and Millie. So this is Millie's side now. Yes. Yes. yes dude. It is. Wow. I don't think we've had a triple feature uh-uh. ever. Uh-uh. In okay wow. story time history. Um, by the way, this is uh, her saying pretty conservative, in my opinion, is so s- stupid so because st- Millie, who's writing this post, would not allow Bianca or didn't want Bianca at her wedding because no, it was didn't at a- want her wife at the wedding. So Bianca's 23, Millie's 29, Bianca's dad's 51. Yes. Okay. At, at this point as they're writing and um it spans years though the whole story and oh uh, when when it spans years yes and when when millie was getting married this was deeper into the years of that um she was like i don't want your daughter's wife at the wedding because it's a catholic church i don't want your daughter's bianca her, wife yes. yes because they were lesbian oh she's like you can't have your your i I want you, Bianca, you know, my dad's, I want my husband's daughter daughter. to be there, but you're not allowed to have your wife in here because it's a Catholic church. When they were in a bisexual relationship. And this is Millie saying that. Yes. Uh, Yes. Or or they were in a relationship with each other, I should say, rather. Wow. A romantic one. So Millie is like, oh, she's super conservative, yet she was banning her her ex-lover from being at the wedding. And she herself is bisexual. This is crazy. Anyways, more gaslighting. So, um, oh it's God. literally every layer is just pure insanity. So, uh, me and her, I've really struggled to live in the same house. I wasn't trying to replace her mom. Yeah, you were just trying to ruin her life. <laughs> but I did want to be friendly, so I asked her on days out and trips abroad with us um, and asked if she wanted to work on decorating the house with me. I am very respectful of her mom at the time. I doubt that. While redecorating her house, I put up lots of photos of her, and I never tried to butt in when Sean and Bianca went to visit her mom's family or grave. Bianca, again the daughter, had been planning to move out with a friend for months and was just starting to pack up her bedroom when two months ago, I asked Sean if we could turn our spare room, which she has been using as a music room, into an office slash shooting space for my work, which involves social media, Since I need the space for work and Bianca barely uses the room. Sean agreed and Bianca kicked off at both of us, lashing out at me and breaking my camera. She moved out the next week and told Sean that she won't see me unless she's warned I'll be at an event in advance. You know, not a cool move breaking the camera and whatnot, but this event that just happened, that was the the like what set everything off in the so this this is like the catalyst event. Yes, and we are. I think we're about to have maybe. So was this the, years ago? Yeah, this was a few years ago. This uh-huh. is. We might be recanting the Whole journey from saga. her perspective. Okay, so basically it starts with with this broke camp. This is like camera. yeah. This is the catalyst but that started the fire. Is Millie admitting that she was in a relationship with no. Bianca? No. She's not admitting that right now. She's not admitting that no. right now. Okay, no. it's just like this crazy stepdaughter. Broke my camera. She's mad because we met online. No, she's mad because you two were in a relationship and now you're dating her freaking father. That's why she's mad. Right. Yes. Which we're unsure if Millie is admitting to this. So far, she has omitted it. Okay. She has omitted. So it was my birthday recently and I asked Sean to go to a specific restaurant, which was a bit fancy and I'd heard was super tasty. We got there and it turns out, yes, Sam, Bianca. Was working as a server there, which I did not know about, liar. Bianca behaved like a baby, looking at me like she wanted to murk me, barging into our table, and when I asked her to stop for the bill, she slapped the table hard enough to make me jump. She later called Sean and made up lies about me being bishy and cruel remarks when Sean went to the toilet and now refuses to contact either of us at all. That was the point in Bianca's POV where Millie said, don't contact your dad for a few days. We're going to be having spicy sleep. But Millie is not saying Millie that she is said not. That. She's not. A, she, once Millie again, is omitting. omitting a lot of once things. again, so, omitting. All right. I just dropped in so far yes. from Millie's point of view. Bianca sounds like a terror. Hearing, hearing. If, if I, like, we like, heard from both literally Bianca o- and only her dad. Hear, and... Only hearing from, like, I'm dropped into, yes, sto- like, yes. in, in, into, part, into part three. If I had just only heard this story and none of the context, yes. I would be like, oh, my God, Bianca is mad that, like, a younger like say a younger dating partner is getting with her dad or something. But you know who we're dealing with here, Sam? Not a master manipulator. The empress of manipulation. Yeah. The empress of evil. This is this is from from we've because we heard yeah. the dad and Bianca's whole side of the story. And do their their stories line up? The events line up, but yeah. like for instance, the dad was like, oh, I tried to offer her the ring. Yeah, he tried to bribe her with it to, to right. get her to behave how he wanted. And then he turns right around and gives his 
late wife's I'm ring. I'm so to her. interested to see what happens with Millie and the ring because, yes. like, is it cool? To give your dead's no. wife's ring to your new partner? No. Pass no. it down to the is children. That, is that cute? I feel no. like that's hor- horrible. <laughs> yeah, we already talked about this. We've already had all this conversation. Yeah. Like, but it's so great, though. It's like adding a new layer. Wait, of wait, wait, what did you guys, you guys decide? No. no, it's not cute. No. Absolutely not. No. Yeah. What it's if it's start- like, I want my wife to live on through you? That's what he said. <laughs> he said that. He was like, I want a connection. I, I want my a connection between yeah. my old wife and yeah. my new wife. So he can always have a threesome with his ghost wife present. Basically, uh, yes. Bianca does not know that we are engaged. They were engaged way earlier than we knew. She did know we were planning to try for a baby, but we honestly thought it would take far longer for us to get pregnant. I found out last week that I am five months pregnant and we are so happy. Five, five months? Five oh, weeks. sorry. Five, five weeks. weeks. <laughs> I apologize. I found out last week that I'm five weeks pregnant and we are so happy. Thank you. Uh, The problem is Sean is talking about reaching out to Bianca again to see if she wants to be a part of our lives and the baby's life. He thinks that with some therapy, we can all live together and plan happy families. Live together? Absolutely not. I can't see that and I don't want that to happen. I am scared that Bianca will visit and try to turn Sean against me and my baby and that she will ruin my baby's childhood. She is violent and manipulative and I'm honestly scared of her and don't want to be around her, especially while pregnant. I don't know what to do because I have tried to encourage Sean to cut contact completely with Bianca, but I think if I push too hard, he'll turn against me. She didn't, she ended the, yeah, she ended her story there. So there's a lot more that happens after that point in Bianca and the dad's storylines. Yeah. She has omitted a lot. Like even did the dad. It's it's so, it's, it's so short. I imagine compared to the other sides, right? Yes. yes, Like that's very, that was barely anything. Yeah. Millie is omitting a lot her side. Like why does Bianca just go no contact? She did. She did basically. So basically what she said was. Very early, like I think around the time of the um the incident where she like smashes her camera and she moves out or whatever, she's like, I want to go no contact except for like big family events, like like a, a like a family reunion or right or like a, visiting the mom's right. grave together as like a whole family or something like that. Basically, the dad is trying to like restart the relationship with Bianca, which I think my guess is he selfishly wants to look good to the outside world. So it's not actually because he's trying to repair the relationship. It's all just for image. I believe. And I think that, again, going back to the incident where he he offers the ring as like a, a, a token of a bribe. Like, hey, just come to the baby shower with us and the extended family and just like play, f- be fam- become family again in front of everyone. And I will give you the ring. She said no. He then turns around and gives the ring to Millie instead of, you know. Wow. Which feels like an F you. Exactly. And he never he never acknowledges that like, oh, this thing might have hurt her or whatever. I will say like one thing we heard from that story. She's like, Bianca smashed the camera, which could be true. Like I, I could see that being true. But basically over the story, turn after turn after turn, the dad and Millie stab Bianca in the back, basically every time in the grand scheme of things so that doesn't like justify you know bianca smashing the camera i feel like they're all a little drama uh beyond i i could i could i could see that like i I could see that and granted it's it's a little unfair because you didn't get we we got literally the entire perspective from bianca and the dad but even if it's even just the camera thing the camera thing is bad the camera thing is bad. Did 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 Bianca say that I smashed Neither the no. dad or Bianca said Yeah, that's that. an important thing. The dad also didn't mention it, which that honestly, I feel like he would have mentioned that. Yeah, I, 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 I'm surprised that the dad didn't mention it. That's and he mentioned many other things. He he his dad called Bianca his daughter a manipulator. And yeah, so if he if he's looking for more stuff to show that, that she's a manipulator and crazy. Why wouldn't he talk she about trashed the camera the room, smashing? She broke the camera and all the stuff. And also, this is like a, a small thing, but Bianca was planning to move out in like it seems like one to three months. She ended up moving out the next week because she was upset. So it's like, and he didn't have to do this. This, I think, is less of a big thing. He could have given her the room for like one or two months to like, you know, make some music, have fun, and then give it to this woman he wants to have a baby with and spend his life with for eternity afterwards. 
There's just yeah, there was what a wild ride, dude! Crazy, all really three perspectives, ride. absolutely nuts, bonkers, yeah. absolutely nuts. Let's wrap it up with uh, finally, once and for all, answering the question of this episode, which is: Should the parent-child relationship be placed above everything else? Um, I mean, in <laughs> this in case that I that I'm throwing in the deep yeah. end. I think he p- should have prioritized his daughter's relationship over the manipulator. I generally think that you should do that because, like, you know, people do have relationships and split, but like, breaking Child up relationship is it's very different. It's very different. Yeah, it's very different, and I and and I feel like it's more your responsibility to care and guide your child through life than it is to guide your partner because you are presumably in equal stages in life whereas you are guiding your child from the beginning and you decided to have this child and decided to take that responsibility so it's, yeah I like, think like more you are as a parent you are the foundation on which a child builds the rest of their life yeah and so it's like you are so instrumental in showing what love looks like what respect looks like and if you erode those things you kind of have a child that has this destabilized foundation yes which you know you go through like years of therapy to maybe re rebuild again but i think that yeah i I think it's it's way more important for a child to have that strong base than i think a romantic partner and because your romantic partner was presumably at a roughly equal way more equal life stage yeah unless you're dating unless you're dating someone year old (laughs) and you're 50 yeah 51 to 3 which Um, is i once had a date within that age gap and it was weird it was weird it was weird it was weird i don't think I think it's weird. I don't know how you, I don't know how people do it. Yeah. I mean, I will say like past 30, it does equalize a little bit. Equalize a little bit more. Still, it's just, I I don't know. It's just, it feels, it feels like, but still, it feels weird. Yeah. But generally, generally we agree. Sophia, would you say the same? Like generally that like child parent relationship will generally kind of like take precedent over a romantic relationship. Agree. There we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we might not have seen a lot of love in these stories, but if you love us, please make sure to subscribe. We love you. And And see you tomorrow. tomorrow.